Good morning, everyone. Today we will discuss the method of finding a solution for linear first order differential equation. I am Dr. V. Sardina, Assistant Professor of Physics, St. Joseph's College of Arts and Science, Kadiru. Linear first order differential equation can be expressed in the form dy by dx plus p of x z equal to q of x, where p and q are continuous function of x. There are uh, more applications of a linear first order differential equation. For example, population growth, radioactive decay, and the flow of heat will use a differential equations. So let's discuss how to solve these differential equations. There are methods of solution. First, we have to find the complementary function and the particular integral and we will write the general solution for the differential equation. Step 1 is to identify p of x and q of x. Step 2 is to find the integrating factor, a function of a, a function multiplied by both sides of differential equation to make the left hand side a perfect derivative. And step 3 is to integrate both, integ both sides of differential equation and are integrated to obtain the solution. Let us consider a differential equation of first order. It is of a linear type, hence it is a say, one first order derivative and it has only one variable x, dy by dx plus dy z equal to q. Its solution may take the form y e power integral p d of dx z equal to integral q e power integral p dx plus dx plus c. So the solution, the complete solution will take the form y is equal to c u plus z, where u is e power minus integral p dx and v is e power minus integral p dx e to integral q e power integral p dx dx. So now differentiating u, we will get p u by dx as minus p e power minus integral p dx which is equal to minus p u. Hence, du by dx plus pu is equal to 0. Therefore, d of cu by dx plus p of cu is equal to 0. It shows the solution of dy by dx plus py equal to 0 is y is equal to cu. To find v, Differentiating v is equal to e power minus integral p dx, integral q, integral e power integral p dx into dx with respect to x. We get dv by dx is equal to minus p e power integral p dx into integral q e power integral p dx dx. Again, solving this using u dv plus v du, the e power integral minus integral p dx q e power integral p dx. Therefore, dv by dx is equal to minus p v, where v is equal to e power minus integral p dx, integral q e power integral p dx plus q. Hence, the solution for dy by dx plus p v equal to q takes the form y is equal to v. Hence, the solution of any differential equation consisting of two parts, Cu and V, that is, Cu is the solution of differential equation whose RH is the right hand side is 0 and Cu is known as complementary function and second part, V is free from any arbitrary constant and is known as particular integral. Hence, the complete solution is equal to complementary function plus particular integral. Finding complementary function, the right hand side of the given equation is replaced by 0. So, let y is equal to c1 e power m x be the cf of d square 
square y by dx square plus p dy by dx plus q y is equal to 0. Put the values of y dy by dx and p square y by dx square in equation 1. Then the solution will be c1 e power mx of m square plus pm plus q is equal to 0. Where m is equal to dy by dx. So this will be the axillary equation of the given differential equation. So first we have to find the axillary equation and then find the roots of the axillary equation. Analyzing the roots of uh, axillary equation, whether it is real, equal and imaginary, the solution differs. Case 1, if the roots are real and different, that is m1 and m2 are the roots, then the complementary function is, takes the value y is equal to c1 e power m1x plus c2 e power m2x. Case 2, if the, the roots are real and equal, that is both the roots m1 and m2 are equal, then the complementary function is y is equal to c1 plus c2x e power mx. It can be proved by, by a simple equation d minus m1 d minus m1 into y is equal to 0 and d minus replacing d minus 1 y is equal to v then it becomes d minus m1 into v equal to 0 and dv by dx minus m1 v is equal to 0 therefore taking a, a v terms one side and the other terms on the side so dv by v is equal to m1 dx and taking logarithm it becomes sorry uh, differentiating it becomes log v is equal to m1x plus log c2 where v is equal to c2 e power m1x therefore the integrating factor e power uh, p integral dx is equal to minus m1 integral dx which is equal to e power minus m1x Therefore, the solution y is equal to e power integral p dx plus q e power integral p dx dx. So, integral q c2 e power m1x into e power integral p dx e power minus m1x dx plus c1 is equal to integral c2 dx plus c1 which is equal to c2x plus c1. Therefore, the complementary function is equal to c1 plus c2x e power m1x. Case 3. If the roots are imaginary, then the roots are alpha plus i beta. Where alpha is the real term and beta is the imaginary term. Then the solution will be y is equal to c1 e power alpha plus i beta x plus c2 e power alpha minus i beta x is equal to e power alpha x of c1 e power i beta x plus c2 e power minus i beta x. Also, we can write it as e power alpha x c1 plus c2 cos beta x plus i c1 minus c2 sin beta x. Uh, replacing c1 plus c2 as a and c1 minus c2 as b, it takes the form e power alpha x a cos beta x plus b sin beta x. In this way, we can find out the complementary function and finding the particular integral, the complete solution will be complementary function plus particular integral. So, there are uh, many applications of the linear first order differential equation. They are uh, population growth, the dv by dt is equal to kp. Radioactive decay dn by dt is equal to lambda n. Flow of heat dt by dt is equal to minus kt minus t, t naught. Let me conclude that linear first order differential equation or a powerful tool in modeling a wide range of phenomena in science and engineering which is very simple and effective method to solve linear first order differential equations and it is applied in many fields like physics, chemistry, biology and economics.
importante por el daño hecho. Thank you.